What's going on, fam? What's going on, fam? It's your boy Unk No Punk. Unk No Punk. At zero three hundred hours, we witching out, fam. Just woke up. Ooh, no ghosts and goblins type shit. You know what I'm saying? Anyway, soon as I wake up, what do I see? Turn my um, my telephone on. I see um, Wack One Hundred. Oh, crater face is in the Bronx. He says he's looking for some dude in Hocus Pocus Forty Five or some shit. Um, who was he looking for? Um, he said he contacted um Hassan. He said I guess he spoke with him. Uh, he, con he tried to contact um, Bullets guy. He supposed to meet these dudes here, right? So I think about um, if you was to ask a New Yorker, what do you feel about this? Now, should I feel some kind of way that some um, some guy from California is coming to New York, look for people? No, I really don't. Why? Well, he know what he's doing. He know the type of guys he talk, he mess around with. Now, these dudes ain't no gangsters. They can make little videos and talk all this mess and talk all this. And I'm looking at them eye to eye. These dudes ain't nothing. You know what I'm saying? For the Hassan dude, he, he, he'll run his mouth always. This and that, yada, 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 yada. I bet you Wack 100 did call him. And probably say, hey, man, I'm up I'm, I'm Bronx River somewhere. You know, come meet me. He ain't going to come. He ain't going to come. But it's got he ain't going to come. He said, you know, he contact. He tried to contact him. He said he lives somewhere close to the Barclay Center. He ain't get no street, no address, nothing like that. These dudes been in there talking all this smack, you know what I'm saying? But now when Wack 100 flies in, he flew in on a jet, he said, you know what I'm saying, with class. Came to Bronx with, some, with a box of pampers. Say, we'll do a good thing, get some pampers out to the hood rats and things like that. You know what I'm saying? But no one's going to touch him. I listen, I listen to the audio of him. He asking people um, about the hopeless guy. Um, where is he? Do you see him? I guess no one sees him. He might be down there. Things like that. My whole thing about this here, Someone could come from other hoods, you know, whatever it is, and come inside this place and ask questions about someone, they should have been dealt with right there. You know, if that if that if that um hood was so hard, I'm not saying I'm, I'm trying I want harm to happen to um why I call him if he come to New York, he go anywhere he wants to. It's a free land, you know what I'm saying? He say he wanna go out there and go out there. But I don't see none of these dudes out there from NYC, none of these um sons, these um bullets. These hopeless focus dudes, they're not taking their ass out to California, going through California hoods, saying, hey, do you know Wack 100? We look for Wack 100. Why could they get fucking, they'll get dogged out. <laughs> they'll get dogged. And that happen out there, Cali. These New York dudes out there, eh, this, ain't the, it's, this ain't the same New York. I try, I try to tell people, you know what I'm saying? This ain't the 80s New York, 70s New York. You know what I'm saying? I don't know that I can't tell you too much about that. You know what I'm saying? It wasn't like that. Because no way in the world this dude could just pop up in different hoods and talk mess. Without getting um getting dealt with, put it that way, you know, it's gonna be it's gonna be some fights. But something's gonna happen because he's gonna come to do shit like that. But he's doing it. You know what I'm saying? He's doing it. NYC is different now. You gotta realize this here. Yeah, it's not the same NYC's back in the days. These young bucks are different. You know what I'm saying? Ain't like the ones from back in the days. You can look at them the way they move, their movements. You know, they're not um. Old NYC. Some of them may be in their 40s trying to talk this mess, but they're not old NYC. You know what I'm saying? They're, they're like the, the last, the last, um, the last era, the last era of NYC dudes. Those ones in the 40s, the ones like 30s and things like that. There's, there's a different breeze here. They're different, I call them different species. The young bloods out there, they, they will go off. You know, they will go off, got the switches, and they got that. Then they probably shot, they probably would have shot got them, um, whack 100 up. But he said he got a little young bloods out there. What's all about this here? Everyone knows Wack 100. If he pops up through the street, people you know, you know, say, oh, that's Wack 100. You know what I'm saying? Everyone knows who he is. And the young bloods out there, oh, you know, that's Wack 100. They want to attract to him because he do, he out there some effery. You know what I'm saying? They might want to throw a mixtape to him. They'll check his tape, try and get, try and get on. I'm trying to get a deal or something like that. But um, these dudes out there, they will never pop up and meet Wack 100. No matter what they say on the internet, no matter what, the, what they talk and this and that, they're not going to do it. He came, he came there, he was there, he got the proof there. He came there. He's calling people. He should know, he should have called before he landed. You know, say, hey, I'm going to be at this certain time, 12 o'clock in your neighborhood, and um, let's talk. If they want to show up, then it could be a big thing there. He's going to pop someone hood like, yo, where they at? You know, because most people don't live inside the hoods, and they represent the hoods to the, you know, to the death, but they don't live there inside these hoods no more, you know. Poppy don't live inside no Bronx River. I don't know about the hopeless poet. I don't know about this dude there. You know what I'm saying? And the other lungs and bullets. See, there was granny out there by the block be sent and shit like this. These dudes don't want no smoke. No matter what they say, how hard they, how they try, they portray themselves to be, 
how gangster they portray themselves to be. They're not busting no caps. They're not throwing no ducks. They don't want. They don't want that. They don't want no drama. They don't want drama. So therefore, I'm gonna give them um, why I heard the big thumbs up. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'm from New York here. Yeah. I'm old New York though. I'm saying it's different. But I'm gonna big why I kind of big big up for that deal for what he did. If he's always in NYC, you know what I'm saying? You might see him in Brooklyn, up in Sugar Hill. You know what I'm saying? He's being seen. He's being seen, and I don't see no one chasing him, threatening him, and things like that. Why? Because the dudes that he's dealing with is not but really suckers. You know what I'm saying? They ain't no kind of um, street dudes out there with some kind of clout. With someone knows this dude here, like, like, oh, you got mess homeboy there. Someone was speaking for him. They like, fuck that night. It's gonna happen. No one's speaking up for these dudes here. If he was to come out there, Bronx River, slap pop up a little bit, or the hogus do. I went down to got them broken and found them. Um, Bulls got it by the bar and sent and smacked them up. Ain't nobody, no one did a goddamn thing. Like people sitting there looking and start laughing. Oh, they'd be like, oh, my car is smacking these dudes up. That's what it would have been, fam. That's what it been. I guarantee that, fam. And what's my little short bottle? Rock hunt going to the Bronx, terrorizing these dudes out here. They not showing up, they not answering no phones, they ain't doing a goddamn thing. You know what I'm saying? But they will come back later on and say, oh, Rock Hunter, he came out there, it was six in the morning. Well, no goddamn, my coming six months, I don't know what time was, but I hear the audio. He's talking to people out there. People sound, they sound a little busy out there. They sound a little busy out there, you know what I'm saying? And I'm my fair piece.